What's up? What's up? What's up? It's right twice, right two times, right in this thing. No, I'm joking. Let me stop shaking my baby. But what's up, y'all? I'm here with another video. Um, this tutorial is on how to bleach the knots on your closure. So I know y'all been seeing all those posts about how the uh, lace been looking like the, the screen doors. I know y'all been seeing that. I'm gonna stop that. We ain't doing that in 2019. So this video is to show y'all how to bleach the knots on those closures. Um, make them look as natural as possible after the video make sure you like you comment you subscribe um, leave a comment on what else you guys want to see um and that's what it is let's get it a hundred of y'all suckers can't tell me nothing I bees in the trap be bees in the trap I bees in the trap all right so we're going to start off with the products and we have our BW2 bleach our 40 percent developer um volume developer and i also have a 30 volume developer i have both because i was actually running out of one of them and then i have my spoon you can use whatever you would like to put the product on but i use the spoon because it has the flat surface and then we have our shimmer lights conditioner which you will use to wash that bleach off when you're done bleaching your knots and now I'm just showing you the different wigs that I have to bleach, but I'm not bleaching all of those in this video. I am actually, there's a frontal. Um, I'm actually only gonna be doing the closure. So here's the closure that we're going to be bleaching today. Those are the knots. Now I'm kinda just showing it off, I guess. <laughs> all right. So the first step is going to be to put a scoop and a half of your BW2 bleach into your measuring bowl. Um, some people use two scoops. You kind of want to eyeball this depending on how much you're going to use, but a scoop and a half should be pretty good. And then for the developer, when you pour the developer in, you want to kind of eyeball that. Start off with a small amount, stir it all in, um, check the thickness. You want the thickness to be kind of like a um, cake whip like the whip that you would put on cake icing I mean um, so you want to just pour a little bit you don't want to pour too much because you don't want it watery and to seep through so you're going to just stir that up test it kind of see if it's as thick as you want it to be make sure you stir it all up first so I'm just stirring and stirring and stirring <laughs> and it looks like I need to add it some that some of that developer in so that's what I'm doing to get it a little bit more loose so, we're stirring and stirring. And that's the thickness you want. You don't want it to fall off the spoon when you pull it out. But you don't want it to be like clumpy neither. So, that right there is like perfect. Because you want it to be able to smear when you're putting it on the closure. But then you just want to start at the base, at the bottom of the closure and start applying, I guess I'm still just showing you how it's on there. Um, and you wanna start applying it to the closure. You wanna do nice, soft rubs. You do not want to push it in because it will touch the hair and then you'll have blonde roots on the hair. You don't want that. Stay on the lace. So, yep, you just smear it on there. A nice thin layer, starting at the bottom and going all the way up to the top and You'll notice that's kind of all that I'm doing right here. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit so we can get to the next part. make sure that you brought the product above the lining of the hair you see that how it's above where the hair stops that's where you want that bleach to be at all the way up and that is perfect then you just want to sit it there and we're going to wait and I'm really checking the knots and it really wasn't quite done with the hair. you want to part down the middle or down the closure so you can see the knots and make sure you don't see the two black dots. If you see black dots, let it process and it'll get longer. So then you turn the light on and you'll get to see the black dots. Yeah, you see that how you can still see the black dots? You don't want to see that. So we're gonna wait a minute there and 
fully because that's how it is. Voila. You should be able to see your finger as soon as you put it on the other side of it. But that's how it is now. Ooh, apply it. That's a before and after, and that is a perfect closure right there.